Yeah, Darrell O'Leary, um, melon grower here since 86. Well, here in Chinchilla, we're some 300 kilometres uh, west of Brisbane and on the Western Downs, um, where we grow watermelons. And um, every two years we have a melon festival here to celebrate the melon and to uh, promote our town um, nationally and internationally. And um, we get people from all around Australia and even people from overseas coming here now. So um, it's just a great week and weekend of full of fun and festivities and whatever you can do with watermelon and rock melon. Yeah, well, the uh, festival started in uh, 1994 and the uh, fellow melon growers, Dennis and Jan Dickman, went to the States, seen a bit of a festival over there, come back and just mentioned to a couple of people and um, the concept was then risen um, and it originally started was to help us. We were in a pretty bad drought at the time and just, we just thought it would be one way of promoting our melons in Chinchilla and lifting the whole Chinchilla um, profile and um, we got great support from, it, originally it all started with a lot of support um, financially from the melon industry, the agents and all those people in Brisbane, Sydney and Melbourne and, and that's how we got started and a couple of local businesses in here got behind us and uh, away we went and we've nearly got all them sponsors that we started with still sponsor us all these years later and um, they want to be involved in every festival we have. When we first started, it was virtually local. People all turned up and then it's just grown from there and word of mouth has got around. Um, we're getting very big in the um, backpacking industry now. Um, a lot of the people, Europeans, and hear about it and they actually we've had a few busloads of them the last few years and they certainly get in and enjoy themselves and um, just people from anywhere from around Australia at this stage are coming. Um, yeah, a lot of a lot of people use it to come back to Chinchilla for the weekend, like relatives, and they bring friends or friends and friends, and then it just keeps on building and building. I think you'll find nearly every house in Chinchilla would have a visitor staying with them on the, um, the Melon Festival week. The unique events we have here is um, probably our main one is our melon skiing, where we get uh, plastic tarp, put down the ground, throw all the smashed melon on it, and then we cut holes in big long watermelons, you stick your feet in it, then you have two people on either side of it, and you throw a bit of detergent on the plastic, it's about 50 metres long, and they tow you from one end of that standing up and using the watermelons as your skis. So uh, it's quite spectacular, and, so, and a lot of people make it to the end. And we, this year, we've put, um, we would have put nearly a thousand people through it. We had two ski lanes, and we just kept on running and everybody wanted to go out melon skiing. And uh, then we got the unique um, melon bungee. It's a game that was adapted out of the Netherlands, I believe it come from. It's, it's, it's on plastic too, all slippery, and they've got to pull four corners and they pull against each other to get outside to grab a melon. So it's quite spectacular seeing people falling over and, and all that. And of course, our major attraction in the last few years is um, smashing melons with one person's head. Uh, we've had a fellow by the name of John Orwood, he's broken the world record twice now. He's up to 47 melons in under, in a minute, he can smash with his head. So, um, you know, a lot of people think it's a crazy thing, but uh, I wouldn't try it at home, but uh, if once you see Big John, you can understand why you can handle it. You know, this last festival, they're talking about 10,500 people come to town from outside of town and generated between three, three and a half million dollars to four million dollars into our economy. Uh, it's just going to grow bigger and bigger and um, we've just got to come up with new ideas, new concepts. So we've just got to have a few more beers at the pub and just come up with a few more crazy ideas.